What's going on everyone? Gilliman with Live Wealthy Stocks back with another video on Palantir, ticker symbol PLTR. So we'll take a look at how the stock traded today, some key support and resistance levels that we're looking at moving into the future and based on that, what we think the stock could do. So real quick, if you enjoy videos like this, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel um, and comment down below what your thoughts on Palantir are. And I'd love to chat with you guys down in the comment section. So let well, me get right into it. So yesterday's video we made, um, we'll kind of do an update quickly. Um, so it shouldn't be too long of a video I think just cover today's action so yesterday if you guys remember we closed um, in the high 25s after being rejected from kind of the 26s um, I believe that yeah from the 26s and then today I'm um, you know right out of the gate we had drawn this 2682 line yesterday as a rejection point um, to see if the stock could push towards it and hopefully you know make make its way above that level and what we saw was that it did right so right out the gate we saw a little bit of a sell-off pushed up um, and then came back down but kind of made it above that and then took a little break around the VWAP to then push up and then you guys know that once a level is broken then that resistance becomes a support point which is what we saw here so we bounced off of this level um, pushed off pushed up made a high of 27.45 um, and then kind of settled down closed we were up about a dollar 31 on the day which is five percent up another 0.8 once so almost six percent for the day which is pretty great um, so that's, that's great news and after hours we're back to this um, you know daily high of 27.45 so all that's great news let's take a look at the daily chart and we'll kind of see what we see um, here so today another green candle right kind of back where we were two days ago um, when we were going down now I did draw this pennant pattern um, expecting some sort of a breakout if we can continue trading within this range as we could see that trend continued we broke through kind of this um, this support that we had in 2682 um, so let's take a look at the hourly chart and we'll potentially draw out some levels of resistance that we have coming up or levels of support um, let's take a look at <clears throat> excuse me that's not what i meant to do let's take a look at um this level right here i think is our first level of support just going kind of back here we see a lot of times where it bounced off of this level which is essentially just 27 um, and it's also been a, a decent level of resistance. So I'm actually gonna, I know that these lines are super close, right? But I'm looking at kind of the bounce and exactly where it bounced. And that was off of 27. So I'm gonna draw that line right there. And then if we go a little bit back, what I see is a little bit of resistance coming up right here, right? Which is exactly at 28. Um, so we've got a little bit of run room, about 50 cents before we went into that. Here we broke into 28.50, saw or 28.30, saw a little bit of a sell-off. Um, and then if we go back to here, um, we couldn't quite break it. Um, this was last week, exactly a week ago, 12.11. Um, we also had a candle that couldn't kind of really break through it. So I think that that's also another level that I'm personally watching out for. Um, but what I would like to see the stock doing now, it could continue this 5%, um, you know, daily upward pattern, but realistically, right, it's going to slow down at some point. If I were to stretch this line down just a little bit, stretch this line up just a little bit, um, the perfect setup for this pennant, this bull kind of pattern that we have evolving would be for it to go up and bounce off of this top line um, and then continue either consolidating or trading down before eventually um, you know seeing a breakout hopefully upwards um, so that's that's something that i'm watching out for and then also from an ema perspective right in yesterday's video we talked about on the daily chart um, the fact that it was it closed below the ema um, which is not something we had seen in a while it would either be above the ema or um, below or excuse me, above or at the AEMA. And then I, I compared it to this candle here where we had one candle where um, you know, we saw it close below the AEMA and the next day we had it go up. I pointed out that you know we could see that happen. We did see it happen, um, which was great. Not saying that I'm, I never said I called it, right? But I was just, that was something that I was wondering, hoping for, and that's exactly what happened. Um, we closed above the AEMA. So that AEMA comes in at 2660. Um, we're at 27, in mid 27s right now. So hopefully that AEMA holds. If not, you know, we've got the low point of today where we bounced in the 26. So realistically, 
28 is going to be kind of the first resistance we're looking for and then i think this line hopefully holds up as good resistance as well hopefully we continue trading sideways for a little bit and see a little bit of a breakout now if we break out early if it runs like right now um would not be surprised right i'd rather it run um, i'm long on palantir i own stock currently um so it wouldn't be the worst news but um, you know, if it were to consolidate for a little bit or even pull back to this line right here, about a dollar or so, um, you know, not something that would really worry me or surprise me. So that's what I'm looking at in the stock. Let me know down in the comment section what you guys think of Palantir, if you guys are trading it, or if you have a different trade plan or trade ideas, or if there's something else you're monitoring. And I'd love to chat with you guys down there. Let's remember to be a bit better every single day. And until next time.